Yo, what's up, boys? Honestly, all manga is just cult escapism, and I hate it. I've come to the point where I've read so much manga, I, I'm, I'm tired of involving my life, involving my precious time, in investing towards other manga and other people's stories that are not even real in the first place, instead of investing into my own story, into my own life. I feel like, I don't even feel like, I know that if I spend the amount of time reading manga that I sp if the amount of time I spent reading manga was used on reading books, learning courses, learning vital skills and information, I increase my vocabulary like that's motherfucker man. Ew. The amount the vital amount of time this this is not vital. This incredible amount of time that's spent on useless entertainment bullshit. If it was spent on time that was <coughs> productive, video editing, learning courses, learning skills, trying money, prospecting, reading books, or well, I will be leagues ahead. Right now, the version of myself who has done the good habits, who has dropped all the bad entertainment habits, who's purely focusing on the good habits and pr practicing them and executing them. He is 200 steps ahead of me. In all aspects you can possibly imagine. He's shitting out content by the dozen. Every single day. Like he, he makes like what? He spends an entire week. Uh, this is bad version of myself by the way. He spends an entire week editing videos. He racks up like 100 videos. Like shorts. And then maybe like 5 videos that he edited by himself. That have big videos for the main channel for example. The full 10-15 minute length videos. And then what? 100 of them shorts. That's a hundred minutes worth of. <coughs> oh, this color, bro. I need to get the fuck out of this room. I need to put some more airway in here as well. Jesus Christ. Okay, stop. Uh, uh. Dude, in the middle of Fuck, man. No, I almost sneezed so much yesterday. Got enough ventilation in this house. The amount of time I, I spent doing that unproductive bullshit I could have used for the productive bullshit would make me much happier in the long run A lot of people tell me You should live life a little, you should enjoy life And this usually includes spending money On bullshit activities like a skate room Or some stupid shit like that Or like some cinema movie which is trash Or This is like some escapist, copism, video games, YouTube videos uh, that bullshit by the way, not the educational YouTube videos. YouTube is not at fault here for this. YouTube is a phenomenal platform for creators and for consumers alike. But if you consume the right information, it benefits you in the long run. But if you consume bullshit information, it doesn't benefit you at all and you're just mindlessly entertaining yourself, this is where the issue comes in. I think my content for the most part is not entertainment. It is educational, in which I try to make it educational in the form of this, in the form of this online journal. See, manga is just stupidism, cult, stupid cult bullshit escapism. So that's stupidism. Can you believe that? Stupidism. Should I make that new word? An urban dictionary, stupidism. I bet it's already a word. Oh, his background's so fucking mad. I don't know, I'm just fucked up this. I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know. Stupidism. Impractical stupid. Who the fuck channel is this? One video. There is more st stupid than you think. Bro made one video six years ago. Please subscribe and do as you wish. What else is there to do? Dislike, bro. Dislike. My video will be posted for around two days. Around two days to around a week each. There's no fucking videos, you have one subscriber, you probably have zero subscribers. What the? <laughs> this here is an example of a potential gameplay, entertainment, rog, roleplay, short movies. Bro, imagine he was doing YouTube for six years, he'll be a big YouTuber, at least, 100k at least, come on. So 
So it is, it is a word. Anti stupidism. I said stupism. It's different. So yeah, no idea is original. The idea that matters the most is the idea that's executed upon. And I think manga as a basic, you create your own manga, sure, that's just that's part of your shit, you're making money. But if you're really an idiot like me and an idiot like constant other fucking weebs, geeks and dorks online, you'll be consuming manga non stop, relentlessly, and you'll be fucking wasting your entire life and all your precious time. Time is an unrenewable asset by the way. And the moment you spend time is the moment you can't you never get time back. It's been an old butcher's whatever. Time is a non-renewable asset. It's the biggest asset you can possibly imagine. Time is king by all metric. And time is one of those resources where you cannot get back. You can always make more money, but you can never make more time. It's a very, very classic old adage. But I think this this quote even then doesn't solidify the importance of time and how if you spend time on bullshit activities, your life will become a bullshit activity. It's very, very, it's very, how do I say this? It's kind of common sense-ish, but it, it really isn't. It's, it's, it, motherfucker, man, stupid. Let me blow my nose. Back. Whatever comes with the territory. Hey, my room boys, want to see? Sorry, right, I'm not recording you. They paint my room. Bro. I look so much bigger now with the white thing on my bed. Fucked up my floor, man. Just taking a little break at the moment. Back to manga, stupid cop is escapism. I was reading a manga yesterday. It was called Meza Metra Snochite, some bullshit. I'll find it. Meza, Meza, Metara. Sai, yeah, Sai Kyo Sobi. To Ichu Sen Mochi, that head on the Iko Date Meza Shite, Yohei Toshite, Giyu Ni Ike Tai. English name, please. Reborn as a space mercenary, I woke up piloting the strongest starship. When I woke up, I got the strongest equipment in the starship, so I went and became a mercenary in order to live as a police while aiming for a detached house. It honestly has a sort of stupid fucking long ass name but it is pretty fucking good and each kind of isn't swords and magic it, it, it was really refreshing as a manga and I have to say reading it again was refreshing as well but then again like bro to me it's just stupid escapism like I saw this guy who's like some average Japanese guy who, who's incredibly competent and it was his new life all of a sudden because of, of his experience in the video game and then he gets like six bitches effortlessly he chooses two and he's got the four bitches and he's just thinking about whether he should fuck them or not and then he's got like an infinite amount of money his money literally it literally says in the manga your money sense is skewed when I made this into a short you guys would be able to see your money he literally said your money sense is skewed and he was playing around with like three million and all with like I don't know three hundred million uh, uh, yen, so one one eno is one hundred yen. That's three hundred million yen. That's like one. Um, let me check. Like six hundred k. 
three hundred million Jap yen to GB. Yeah, it's around one point eight million. So he was playing around with these numbers like it was fucking nothing. And at the moment, he has like I think like a billion or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. We have so much money for one way to buy a, a fucking mothership. Like a mothership is like a really, really big ship, like it's, it's like a Star Destroyer in Star Wars. And then he has like his own little ship, the Christian, Christian up and shit like that. And I was thinking to myself, bro, this guy's living the fucking life. Like his biggest worry is finding cola. He found Dr. Pepper in the new world. He couldn't find cola. And he's pissed because of that. That's his biggest issue. I was thinking like, bro, this is the life. Two consistent side links. Two wives, three wives, mashallah. <laughs> it, it just. That life is just. It's very endearing. It's very endearing. I'm gonna keep trying to grind this YouTube shit because honestly, it has never been so, so much more satisfying grinding YouTube shit. There's nothing like really that much more satisfying than doing, making, make, doing and making YouTube videos. En masse and seeing like exponential explosive growth because of it like if I post around like 45 maybe just 30 shorts a day bro 365 times 30 that's 10,000 videos bro so if I'm posting 30, like 15 videos in one go 15 videos in one go 10k videos bro I'm fucking viral bro I'm going somewhere I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's like YouTube stardom, but I'm going fucking somewhere with 10k videos, 10,000 videos, ladies and gentlemen. My it, my impact on the internet will be permanent. People put Jimmy Chan as gonna be my pay. You already put Chan Uncut into Google, and it's literally me. There's no other Chan Uncut. I am the Chan. I am the only Chan Uncut. I have infinite amounts of Chan Uncut. There's only one Chan Uncut. It's me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I get stupid. Huh? So, I'm so fucking weird, bro. I'm so fucking weird. Like, I'm like liking this setup a lot. I can really focus on the camera with the setup. I might try to start something like this. I experiment around with um, my office setup. In my room again. I'm gonna be like super productive. Motherfucking. I should make a video like top 10 productive hacks I make. And then uncut video. And then main video. Uh, Long day, man. <laughs> Yo, it's me. Yo, it's me. It's so weird seeing my, seeing myself on Google. I'm an ugly ass motherfucker, man. <laughs> It's okay, I'm in a bulk, it's fine. When I lose weight, I'm gonna look sexy, guys. When I lose weight, I'm actually gonna look like a capable model. This motherfucker is looking at me. Meow. Hey. He's so cute, he's adorable. Uh, I'm tired of, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it in the description, and I quit manga. Cause I'm tired of escapism. I'm tired of looking at other, up other people's lives. These guys getting like just effortless amounts of bitches. He gets like the max rank. Even the mercenaries in there were like, oh, how did you do that? In my like, I, in my like twenty years of experience, I've never seen that type of shit. It's probably because he looks ugly and he's not proactively trying to change things with his life. There's a whole like. Don't know what the fuck that was. Disgusting though. The whip. I'm gonna scratch my fake beard and then that weird squiggly thing like a parasite came out stomped on his ass yeah I'm tired of escaping my life I'm tired of running away. I'm tired of just being a coward. 
has been a coward. It has been running away. It's annoying being insignificant. I think I'm a really big step in order to stop being insignificant. I quit manga. From today and now on, I'm never going to read manga again. So now on, I'm not going to read manga again. I quit anime a very long time ago. I don't watch anime anymore. I would still recommend like the top three. Hunter x Hunter, Fullmetal Alchemist, Code Geass. Berserk the manga is good, really good. Other manga, G GTO was good as well. Great to was really good. I have fond memories of that. Golden Boy, I have fond memories of that too. Back in the past. If you're like 16 to 18, a young adult, your transition from teenager to adult, effectively, a young adult, teenager to young adult, 18 young adult, people, a lot of people consider 18 as a baby, but I think as a man, by 18, you're gonna get your fucking shit together. 18, you're gonna be grinding on something. You're gonna be able to knuckle down and focus on something. And you have to make sure it pays. You've got responsibilities to add up. You're not an 18 year old girl that can just go to the Maldives, get thrown out by a billionaire. But Fit had the example the best, like $1,000 here, a bunch, like infinite amount of men fucking sleeping over you. All the girls that are pretty, oh my god, babe, you look so good. You're not that type of person. You're not like a top fucking 1%, top 5%, top 10%. All these girls, they get fucking pampered as hell. But you see them get pampered as hell, but they're usually like the top 20%. Top maybe 40%, 50% of women. Not like actually genuinely beautiful. Or well, most part, what I've seen. This is like estrogen. Some say like more estrogen in the water, fluoride in the water, which means more estrogen, which means less testosterone for men, more estrogen for women. Like, some say, oh, women are better than ever, men look worse than ever. Yeah, it's true. So, you're gonna blame the fucking water for everything? You can just drink new water. You can just get a fit regardless. Is there a man? Who drinks tap water filtered, who is incredibly masculine, who has high testosterone, 500, 600, 700, maybe a thousand? Yes? So why can't you achieve the same thing? Stupid. And the, and the weebs and the nerds and the geese will fucking tag me for this. Oh, they will fucking berate me, they'll mock me for this. They'll, they'll firmly defend their, their um, escapers, escapers and tendencies. I'm like, short. Sure. Well, read the manga. Read the manual. Watch the anime. I, I'm, I'm giving up on you guys. This channel is to introduce men to the early, early game and the mid game and the end game. I'm not at the end game of self improvement yet. The early game and mid game of self improvement. This is not for the people that genuinely like are so further within their beliefs that they think that they, they need their an hour of video games a day and they need their one hour of anime a day and. They so fervently need it, they forget the fact that it's actually killing them. I'm, I'm not here to change anyone. I'm here to help people, not change people. Because I can't change people. You can keep watching my videos, you can keep indulging in my videos. I mean, that's not good either, by the way. It's more successful for me, so it's great for me, right? But even then, I have to be brutally honest. If you just keep watching my videos, you're gonna get fucking nowhere. If I make like a bunch of fucking really good videos and really hyper edited and I, I, I shit one a day and oh, before you know it I have like a thousand videos on my channel and bro it's like fucking hands again I got like what I'm reaching 100k I'm so, oh my god 100k subscribers oh my god guys 300k subscribers oh my god 100k I'm so thankful guys that's great for me it's not great for you you're just gonna be fucking watching me succeed and I've seen guys that succeed like before Hamza he was on, like 100k subscribers I first saw him. Now he's on fucking 2 million. How does this make me feel? He's on 2 million. I saw him go from 100k to 2 million. I saw speed go from 1 million to 13. I don't give a like, oh, you're comparing yourself to the top. Bro, if you're, comparing, if you're not comparing yourself to the top, what the fuck are you doing? So comparing is a weird thing. It's a double edged sword, but a sword is still a sword nonetheless. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I used to hate being compared, I used to hate being, 
uh, compared because I thought like I, I felt inferior because of it. But that feeling of inferior, I thought that I was inferior, which is effectively true because he's making more money than me and he's fucking he's just been older than me, my age age group. Of course, like if you measure out, he's like a top one percent. Not even top one percent. I think it was top like, maybe top what not by one percent. Of seventeen to eighteen year olds in the fucking world. Because like, the majority of 17 to 18 year olds in the world are broke, are sad, like, actually men, women not so much, because they end relationships. Different timeline, Asian gentlemen. I thought to myself, bro, like I see this individual who isn't that special, he has the same crazy reactions that I do when I play video games. I go fucking AWOL when I play video games. I think that would be immensely entertaining. The shit I've said, the shit I've done, the shit I've behaved. I think it would all be immensely entertaining. When I think I usually cringe at my videos when I watch them back, but when I my game videos, I could legitimately watch them for hours and hours and hours because I I saw like I was so entertaining because of it. That's why the Berserker channel would probably be trying to be entertaining. K science and shit. Obviously, it's not my goal. I do want to keep my channel and cut type personality, but I just like I rein them in. I rein my personality I need to use like some fucking skits or <laughs> motherfucker man. I use this person with this YouTube channel. I use this person with this channel. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have like two channels. Come on, Jimmy Chan, Berserker, Ascend is like dead. I'm, I'm not gonna continue with Ascend. I'll make like a, one few last videos, few last clips. I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm never gonna go back. And then I'm gonna continue on the Jimmy Chan and the ADHD podcast, which I really like. And I'm also like continuing on Berserker as well because has 2,000 something subscribers, and I like that. No, not subscribing is like a good financial base. I'm just worried about how the subscribers will react to my content, honestly. But for the most part, all I can do is just share out content. There's nothing much I can do otherwise. And it's weird on YouTube, sometimes your videos can just go immensely viral. I've worried about this for a very long time. But now I'm, I think I really want it now. And before I was worried about going viral, but now I've completely utterly changed my mind. I do want to go viral. I do want to get popular. I do want to get the views. I do want to get the money. I do want to get a community. Most importantly, community, I believe. Obviously, the money is important. But the community aspect is like, I'll be surrounded by people that are similar minded to me. And I can just make infinite content out of that. I can have infinite podcasts out of that. I can have infinite talks out of that. I can have some proven talks, podcasts. I have this, I have that, bro. Milking the algorithm. Milking. Like, seriously. Motherfucker, man. Say. I feel like I will play this video, but I I have I have something else to say, but I, I feel like I can play this video. Uh, 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 okay, guys. Stutter. I don't wanna get popular. I feel like I'm already being so much competition though by being consistent with my YouTube videos. I feel like no, it's not. I know that all the YouTube videos, like one video, is, or like ten videos, like a hundred videos, that aren't even consistent. They just fucking waste their time, and they're like, "Yeah, I want to be consistent. I want to upload two times a week," and end up not even uploading at all. Compared to me, I literally record maybe fucking five videos a day. I just compile them, put them in my, leave them in my camera until like I got like four hours of footage I can record on this camera right now. I just leave it, and then when the time comes, I just post it on my computer. Upload it to my computer, and then I upload it to the YouTube, and then like what? It's like an erratic forty-five uploads in a row, and then my my number of my video count just increases exponentially. My views increase exponentially. My subscribers increase exponentially, and it's just so satisfying to see, especially because I'm just fucking talking. But I want this YouTube channel not only to just be like me talking. I want it to be like a hallmark, not only just a journal as well. A hallmark of my success in the future. When I am successful in my own business, and I'm grinding and I'm and I'm fucking balling and shit, and I'm like all over the world. I'm living in some apartment with my friends because I, I want to because I like seeing my friends every single day. 
or I'm living with, with my girlfriend and we're like on the top of one of some fucking high rise in central London and we're just looking down on the general populace down below and how they just live their shitty Monday lives going to work every single day and I'm recording myself yo guys you've seen me on the, on the come up in my little shithole office <laughs> got Aiden I don't know why I'm listening to Aiden my mom's room I got two little pillows I'm gonna throw these in here I can't lie I've lost the smell I got the candles. I don't even know what I should do with leftover candle wax. I can't lie to you boys. Motherfucker, man. I got like a bunch of. This is leftover candle wax. This is leftover candle wax. I can't light this candle. I can't light this one. Man, I can't light this one, which is the one I want to fucking light in the first place. I can't light this candle either. So I'm just sitting on so much. And this one too. Leftover wax. Bro, I could have a candle burning for like fucking three days. Like, yeah, three days straight. All this wax that I have, I could melt in the candle. I want to ask GBT what I can do. It's such a tangent in this video. It's such an immense tangent, man. It's crazy. How could I go on such a tangent? How can I talk so much? This is why. Honestly, recording videos has helped me so much. That's a separate video. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Manga, stupid cult escapism. Don't read manga. Don't be a, a geek like these. Uh, those people that defend it so fervently. Like, I, I, I want to build up on this point as well. People that defend it so fervently. Manga, and anime, and TV shows, and all this end bullshit entertainment. They tell me, oh yeah, I like my dopamine. Oh, you need rest breaks. You need to take a break sometimes. You need to rest and recuperate. I need to play my one hour video game, so I'm resting. Bro, you aren't resting. You are literally triggering your brain. Your brain is like the most active, most hyper stimulated when you're playing video games, when you're watching these TV shows. You're completely enamored, invested, engulfed in these video games, entertainment distraction. You don't even know it. And at least create content. Like, if you make great content and you make videos, bro, that's your shit. You're like, what the fuck? And you, now you can make a job out of that. Like, that's, I always say it's an infinitely better job than a normal job. Working some normal 9 to 5, making, like, making fucking, playing video, fucking video games for a living is an infinitely bad job. But then again, you are still trading your time for money. For the most part. And at some point, most of these video games, they reach like a, a weird consensus. Like, they're just going to spend all their life on video games. And they look like geeks IRL. And they're just deeply dissatisfied with how they look IRL. They just spend and spend more and more, more time with a fucking, fucking video game. And they completely evaporate into the video game. When you ask these people, what are you, you going to do in five years? Any plans in five years? Any plans within ten years? Don't know. I think I'll just keep playing my video game. What if the game dies? I don't know, I'll move on to the next one. So my point, ladies and gentlemen. You cannot change these people. You cannot revamp these people. You cannot try to change people that are so stubborn in their own ways because they won't change. It's only until... They reach a, a certain point where they get, become so deeply dissatisfied with their life. They reach a midlife crisis almost. I reach an early midlife crisis. I could call it an early life crisis. I don't a midlife crisis because I'm not, I'm not even my fucking midlife yet. And midlife to me is my great grandfather died at 89. So midlife to me is like 40, 45. I'm not close. I'm not near close to 45. There is no midlife crisis to me. And if people hate me so much for this, they will, they will defend it so fervently, and I completely and utterly agree. I think you should defend it fervently. What, Jimmy? I thought you were against anime. No, I am against anime, but you are for anime. Let's see in ten years who's better off. You, who's better for anime, who's better, uh, who's better? No, who argues that anime is better, and, and me, who argues anime is worse. The anime will corrupt your soul, you see, and waste all your time. Who do you think will be, be better off? 10 years. Let's play the race. Life is not a race. It's a marathon, right? Let's play the marathon. And as I sprint up the marathon, working my way up slowly, 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 you should be going further, further, further back. You become a hikikomori like you've seen in fucking modern day Japan. The guys that live in fucking e cafes, cyber cafes. Those guys can still change their lives. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. 
if they started reading books, start trying to learn English, the problem, there is infinite amount of resources online you could help. You could use Japanese chat GBT and learn English there. And after you learn English, you can start reading books about finance. After you read all the books about finance, you can start trying to make your own business by learning all the skills required and, and like literally figure out everything required. After that, you can start your own business, try to make some money. And after you make some money, you can buy a bigger house, you can get a nicer car, and then you can start trying to build up the confidence to talk to girls again. Bro, it's like, bro, motherfucker, man, life can be linear. Life is not, it obviously is not linear, but it, within progression, the path, it can be linear, and you can see what you're fucking doing, and where you're gonna go. Pro re a real progression might be exponential, like, you might be seeing no results for a very long time, and then suddenly in your fifth year, BOOM! So much results, you can't believe it. Your life is literally on top of the world. Now it's your job just to keep going up, or just plateau for a bit. But life is not a plateau. You don't just plateau, you don't just stay where you are, you actually go down. Life is hard mode. If you stop using your skills, like I didn't video edit for a while. Now my video editing skills have gone down. I'm not as good as before. But I was actually rigorously practicing every single fucking day. As a reality of life. It is what it is. These people, they, they will argue for anime. They will die for anime. They will die for these mindless Japanese cartoons. That's coming from me. My entire childhood was these mindless Japanese cartoons. I loved Dragon Ball Z growing up. I loved Fullmetal Alchemist, Hunter x Hunter, Code Geass. Two Love Rue, classic, if you know, you know. High School DxD. I grew up with this shit. Completely enamored. And it gave me no ROI. And look at me now. I'm, I'm in my eighth month struggling in self-improvement. If someone had shown me self improvement all the way back in that day, I probably would have chose self improvement over this stupid anime bullshit. I probably would have been the anime haters, you, like, the weird anime haters kids that you've seen growing up. Oh, this guy's like anime. Look at this guy. He's so weird, right? He doesn't watch TV shows. What do you even do the time? He's productive. He's grinding. Unlike you. I love the idea of like some geek who just goes to work and he comes home and watch anime just to relax and chill out and just vibe and completely invest all his time and energy into someone else's Japanese cartoon life. I completely love that idea. Let me be honest with you, I, I literally completely love that idea. Because the individuals that watch the anime, that waste their time, that read the manga, that do all of this shit, they will never surpass me. And I will surpass them. With blinding speed. And I'll be so far ahead of them. That they can never catch up. Ever. It's like that, that paradigm. Where like. The guy who quits video games. And then he quits anime. He quits all that all bad habits. And then he becomes successful in life. It's really common. You see them a lot of times. Within the last 5-10 years. Why is that? Why is that? What do you think his friends feel? My point? I'll explain to you why. If you choose thick skulls and not to understand. Like that Bechtel motherfucker. Leon a railroad track. Shut the fuck up, bro. You wish I would lay on a railroad track. You wish I would off myself. You fucking geek. Jesus Christ. Disgusting people. These people don't go, you don't see the people in real life, by the way. And if you see the people in real life, they won't say shit to you. They're pussies. If a motherfucker like that told me to literally offer myself in person, I would smoke his jaw. What the fuck is he gonna do? Shrivel up and cry. <laughs> Those are the type of mini visuals that will argue against you. They'll criticize you, they'll berate you, you don't even like them. Because they're losers. They want to bring you down to the bottom of the barrel. And they're gonna be like, Cope, bullshit, Cope, yeah, all Cope. Mm, Jimmy, you're fucking stupid, Cope. Uh, just get money, Cope, off yourself, lay on a railroad track, 
die, die in a fire. Well, if we're not, they're living their mundane nine to five monotonous routine, coming home, escaping, having fun, not living life a little, and dying slowly. Most men die at the age of twenty five, but they only get fired at seventy five. I love the idea that some men are willing to literally waste their entire lives with anime bullshit. I have a friend in my trainship place. He's a literal fucking geek. He's not 18, 10, 19. And I've never seen a bigger fucking nerd. It rhymes with myself, honestly. But this guy just never changed. He just never hopped on the subgroom around. He just never tried to revamp his life. That's what happened. Isn't that selfish me to say? That I will literally surpass these guys. Brutally selfish. I don't care. I don't care. Keep watching your enemy. 